Okay guys, it's 11 p.m. August 19th. Okay, I'm off this week and today's Thursday. So the whole week has been, I think, maybe one clear night. It was one or cl uh, two clear nights so far, but that's that's about it. Anyway, I got the seven inch Mead ED here and it's three 12 pound uh, counterweights. I have it on the EQ6, everything's ready to go. Let's take a look at Saturn. Give me a minute. Now I have the exposure up as high so that way it doesn't look like it's dark, but if I didn't, it would be my first videos that you saw last year, you can hardly see me. But now that I know how to uh, do uh, the camera settings a little bit better, you can see it's a lot brighter, plus I have most of the curtains uh, open right now so you guys can see me. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I just found the Saturn in a 56 millimeter eyepiece. And now with 32 millimeter, just kind of low. Oh, you know what? This controller is the finicky one. That it, like sometimes it's intermitting where the button just gets pushed in and then it's, so it was actually slewing uh, the scope. So this one controller, the wires are intermitting uh, somewhere where they're touching and sometimes it activates even when I'm not even pushing the button. Let me go switch it with my other EQ6 uh, hand control. Okay, got my other hand control. I know that didn't take long, but still. Okay, so obviously I have to find the Saturn again. And it's like a... Um, it's about three days for from a full moon. And I have no finder scope on this guy. There we go. I found Saturn. Fifty power, I can see one moon easily. Okay, let's pump up this guy. A lot more than 50 power. The uh, need ultra wide angle 4000 series Japan um, 8.8. .8. So we are at now. Oh, yeah, 181 power. 181 power. Saturn looks really good you know today is very very hot very very humid and although it's had over two hours of cooling um, it just when you touch the scope doesn't it just barely feels cool at all okay I'm not polar aligned because You guys may know my townhouse face is north, so I can't even see north at all. Good view. Okay, let's take it a little higher. 181 power is decent, big, but not big enough for what I want. What's uh? So if I put a six radian, it's becoming 267 power, which is, let me tell you, that's a good chunk of power right there. It's, I can clearly see one moon. The polar lining is off. I guess I guessed, uh, kind of guessed it off today. Okay, definitely a nice view of Saturn. Oh, there we go, Cassini division. I guess this focuser, being an oldie focuser, um, it is rack and pinion, but uh, there is no dual speed at all. Yeah, I'm not sure if tonight is the best of nights. Every night can be definitely, you know, different. I mean, but the focuser is not too bad. I mean, you can still, you know when you're in focus and you know when you're out of focus it doesn't it's not that hard it's nice that uh, you know with drives you can just 
with this size scope, well, remember my rings are my bar is kind of offset from the top is in the middle hole and the other one's in the most left hole. It's not what you want, but it is what it is what it is today. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's take a look at quickly at Jupiter. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, easily found uh, Jupiter. Uh, with a 32 millimeter eyepiece, that's 50 power, and uh, snaps into view. I defocused it all the way out, in, and then I blew it up. Uh, image is a nice circle, so that's that's great. Um, I guess I'll show you guys what I see, or at least, uh, oh, I need my camera adapter. Oh, here it is. Uh, okay, I'll try to show you guys a little bit, because um, I'm sure you guys want to see. And lately in my videos, I'm starting to show you guys what I see in the eyepiece, right? Today does not seem like a clear, or it, the seeing is not perfect. Oh, I see just a really, really thin cloud, and it's a 80% full moon today. Um, yeah, I can see, it's, I mean, it's clear, but the seeing isn't perfect. But you can kind of tell because it's not as, I saw more detail other times, uh, but, you know, that's how the weather is. We can't change it anyway. Okay, there we go. So what do you guys think of Jupiter and the Mead uh, 7 inch F9 ED? Uh, took me a little while. Today the scene is not perfect. Full moon that's throwing a lot of glare, but I think that looks pretty good. Let me try to adjust it a little bit better. Let's see what happens. Just leave it alone for a second. Let it adjust. try that let it sit alone okay what do you guys think I mean this is just a cell phone you can clearly see some detail okay I mean that looks pretty good to me nice and big and if you guys want I can shrink it down so you can maybe see the moons I mean, sometimes smaller is better anyway. Yeah. Is that what they say? Yeah, sometimes small is good. Okay, let me go all the way down. And as I turn down the exposure. Guys, I'm not too sure why Saturn is not as clear, but in the eyepiece, it looks fairly good, but in my iPhone, I just can't get it any better. Anyway, maybe I'm a little too blown up. So right now I'm at, uh, hold on a second. Hundred and seventy-eight power. So it's not extreme power. I guess that looks okay, but looks better in the eyepiece today's just not a good day it just it looks okay in the eyepiece I think that five days ago was good I can see it's kind of hazy but anyway hopefully you guys like that shot or not uh, let me try to get it a little bit better okay guys we are calling that's it for today as far as the meat is concerned um, it was okay. I mean, it looked good in the eyepiece. It's not the best of nights. Um, you bet you can never change you know, as far as whatever the atmosphere is doing, the scene. Uh, you know, it's just, that's part of life. It was a pretty good image anyway. Um, what frustrated me the most, as you guys saw, was the balancing and putting this guy on in the beginning. If it wasn't for that, it would have been good. 
but uh, had lots of cool down time. Uh, it was over like uh, two hours and 15 minutes or something. So that's plenty enough for this size. It's only a doublet. But uh, anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next uh, episode. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.